Hello, my name is Karen Vaughn. Today we are going to make a pleated likeness of a quadric surface called a hyperbolic paraboloid. You will need a square sheet of foldable paper, a flat instrument such as a pencil or a ruler to reinforce the folds is optional. The terms I'm going to use are peaks and valleys. These refer to the types of folds or creases that appear when you look at the face of the paper. First, make a diagonal valley fold. Unfold. Make the opposite diagonal valley fold. Unfold. You have created a center point with the diagonal valley folds. Valley fold one of the top edges to the center point. Creasing only between the diagonals. Be sure not to fold beyond the diagonals. Unfold. Repeat for all the sides of the square. Valley fold and unfold at the one quarter and three quarters the length between the top edge and the center point. Unfold. Repeat the previous step for all sides of the square. Notice the valley folds formed concentric squares. Turn the large square over. All the folds are now mountain folds. You will now attempt to form an X shape. Between the first top edge and first mountain fold, make a valley fold. Remember not to fold beyond the diagonal fold. Condense the fold like an accordion. Repeat for all sides of the square. Between the new edge and the next mountain fold, make another valley fold. Continuing making valley folds inwards to the center point. Leave the corner edges outwards. It gets a little tougher as you move inward.
you now have a large X. Hold your X creation parallel to the floor with one hand pinching a tip and the other hand pinching the opposite tip. Slowly open the pleats by moving the pinched tips outward and downward. Ta-da! You may make a smoother model by doubling the first set of valley folds. Enjoy!